Good day everyone, my name is Zoe and today we're going to do a quick range test for the DJI Mini SE using its automatic transmission versus the manual transmission. By the way, this is a live screen recorded video of our feed. So as always, we need to set the altitude of our return to home to an altitude that is higher than any particular large structures to ensure our drone gets home safe. We also try to speak in English because we have non-Filipino viewers already in our channel. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. By default, this drone flies on an auto mode transmission. But I don't know why it usually selects high traffic frequencies, especially in urban places with mainly Wi-Fi interference. Take off. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. So first we will fly in auto mode with 2.4 GHz. We're flying this in a highly urbanized city of Cagayan de Oro. We can also see here that we have many Wi-Fi signals in our area. So let's see what will happen here. And I might fast forward through some of this. You probably don't want to watch the boring stuff. You can see there the FPV feed is kind of breaking up at the distance of just 141 meters. And we lost connection at 361 meters. So now it's saying return to home. So we're just 361 meters when we lost our transmission. So now we'll just let the drone come back a little bit. You can see there we have reconnected and, we and we're back at 243 meters. As I said, I'm here in a city so if you're flying this drone at rural areas with less Wi-Fi interference, you could get past a kilometer or two. Alright, so I'm gonna do this time is fly this using manual transmission. So to change to manual, you just need to select manual. And since we are in a city, we will select 5.8 GHz. To switch to 5.8, just select any of the last five green bars. Green is less interference and red is more Wi-Fi interference. So after that, we should get a disconnection. This time it's set up to 5.8 GHz and I will recreate the flight that I've just done to see which is better, the auto mode or the manual transmission. Let's see. What we're doing is also applicable in the DJI Mavic Mini because the SE and Mini 1 uses enhanced Wi-Fi. Just remember when using auto mode, the channel locks what frequency it first selected, meaning you can switch to 2.4 to 5.8 or vice versa during flight. I'm facing my drone towards the controller so that we could get a more stable connection. In my next video, I will compare this using a parabolic antenna. These issues with Wi-Fi interference is one of the main issues in Mini 1 and SE, especially flying in urban areas. Um, the only difference between these two drones is the SE has a higher wind resistance. So we've just passed the 1000 meter mark. By the way, this drone is a CE model. So this is already a good distance especially knowing that 5.8 GHz in CE model usually extends just to 500 meters. Alright, the FPV feed is starting to jitter. And that's it. We've lost connection at 1450 meters, 1450 meters. Um, you know, this is the time that I hate, uh, waiting my drone to be reconnected. Uh, my heart keeps pounding. <laughs> you know, if you want to do a range test, um, fly it on an open space in rural areas. Range test in urban areas is not advisable. Uh, 
my FPV feed is stuck but my recorded video says it's coming back so that's good okay please come home Maximum okay that that's it we're back we're reconnected at approximately 900 meters it's a great day in Cagayan de Oro City good morning guys so to conclude our test when you're flying in urban areas with lots of Wi-Fi interference the manual mode is the way to go so to those my friends there that are struggling with their signals please don't give up thank you for watching guys and you can subscribe to my channel and please um, Landing. click the ring button so you can see more drone videos that's it bye